Michelle Murad. We are live here in Brentwood Gardens. Today is August 17, 2023. We're so happy you're here outside the studio here with me. Got Andy Waldman manning the cameras, and we've got the lovely Eric Bigger. Hey, <laughs> Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. How are you? How's it going? I'm so good. I'm so good. For those of you that don't know Eric, Eric is from, uh, like, I want to say you're from Baltimore, but then you made your way to The Bachelor and yeah. then to a book author and then you're a motivational speaker and you're helping people like left yeah. and right and you're just like an overall cool human. So I invited it. you on the show. Yes, yes. How are you, man? I'm phenomenal. I'm happy yeah. to be here. Aww. Yeah. It's a privilege to be in front of you again and talk life and all Aww. the things. And yeah. Shouts out to Andy. He's the man. Andy with the plan. Is the, Andy, <laughs> I don't know if he has a plan, to be yeah. honest, but he is the man with the plan. Right. Um, so you get plans. What's new in the world of, of Eric Bigger? I would say perspective. Yeah. On just existing mm. and being grateful for, you know, just existing in life, learning more about myself and yeah. life. And just, just existing is new. The perspective that I'm gaining from all 2023. All 2023. I yeah. said 2023 is all about authenticity. Yeah. Not just like for me, but I think a lot of people, like I feel like a lot of the masks are being like dropped and people are like really stepping into like their power and like really yeah. like they shadow. want change. Yeah. Yes. The they shadow is at the top. The shadow is at the top. Tell me what that means. That means the self that you've been suppressing or you've been putting down and you've been denying that yeah. you've been hiding yeah. is in your face like hey remember me yeah, that you yeah, never yeah. wanted to be intimate with or build rapport with oh. because you were so afraid because if you expose that side of yourself you would think people wouldn't like you or love you or embrace you yeah but now everything is coming to the surface for everybody yeah which i believe is the year 2023 equals a seven year oh what, what do we what do we learn about seven i know you're big on numerology so yeah, tell me so about seven. the seven vibration for the collective consciousness is like everything that's been beneath it's at the top, it's on the surface, oh. right? Meaning like seven is a spiritual number, it's yeah. a psychic number, it's introspective, yeah, reflective. Yeah. Um, you have to really be in tune to kind of understand what's happening. And it's a, it could be very uncomfortable depending on who's embracing it, which yeah. this year we all have so many different contrasts going on yeah, in the world, yeah, yeah. within ourselves, yeah. life. And it's like, you can't really BS yourself in a seven energy because it's like, it's the truth. The seventh is a spiritual number. It is the truth. Wow. So it's all coming to the front, like, hi, how are you? <laughs> you can't hide anymore. <laughs> no, so here we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything is being reflected. Yeah. It's like, what? Ah, <laughs> oh, special sponsor coming through Uber Eats. Thank hey, you so much. What's your name? What's your name? Hector. Hector. Say hi to our, our viewers that are watching on Amazon. Get over here. Get over here. Yeah, say hi. Eric, Eric, hey, what's up, Eric? buddy? How you doing? Yeah. I'm great. How you Thank feeling? You so yeah. How are you today? Fine. Thank you. Yeah, I think I have really to give busy. you a really busy. I That's oh, you need my pin. Okay, I'm gonna give you this mic. Okay. Oh yeah. So we're here. They need her pin, and uh, we're just gonna continue yeah. the episode. Hey, hey, nice to meet you. Yes, yes, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Uber Eats, for this awesome delivery. I appreciate yeah, see, you. Um, the seventh energy. You can't hide what's going on. I can't. I, Even I don't know. You're on camera. <laughs> the truth comes to the light. <laughs> the truth comes to the light. Uh, we, I mean, so for the people that haven't seen uh, you, um, I got the chance to interview on Good Day Live and know yeah. more about you. Talk to me about how you went from Baltimore. The bachelor to motivational speaker to uh, like literally like just you know inspire you're inspiring so many people i yeah. saw on your instagram feed that like somebody reached out to you you like you're helping save lives how do you go yeah. why do you think you go from bachelor to like saving lives tell me how does that work it, it, it's the heart space it's, <laughs> it's the heart space right i'm really in my space. heart like really in the heart chakra it's really my intuition since i've yeah, been a kid yeah. i think the biggest weapon i've used or utilized in my life is my spiritual attunement to my intuition and yeah, really yeah. listening to it, yeah, yeah. following it more more times than not, and just it's taking me places. It's taking yeah. me all over the world. Yeah. It's putting me on TV. It's yeah. allowed me to like help myself heal, to help others heal, and be a present, be a role model, and be a thought leader in a space where I want change. Yeah. I am change. Yeah. I'm going to bring the change to seek change instead of me wanting it and not being it. So. Yeah. 
um, I'm so thankful, you know? It's the intuition is really how I got far in life and just really stand within. Yeah. Because that's what my power is. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I have to live in an unseen, the spiritual realm. Yeah, yeah. More than the material realm. Same. Because that's what my power is. Everybody power might not be in the spiritual realm. Some people power is in the 3D, it's in the flesh. Yeah. Because that's part of their time here. Yeah. For their purpose. But for me, I got to be in a spiritual currency to kind of materialize the material world, if you get what I'm saying. I get it. I yeah. get it a lot. Uh, one thing that I take away from you uh, interviewing you on Good Day Live was you're really like, you just like love to learn and you love yeah. to read. Yeah, 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 talk yeah. talk to some of our viewers that are hey. watching. Like, what are some of the books? Like, if they're like straight on this new spiritual journey, what are really good books for people to read? I know a couple, but I want to hear from you. Well, I, I would say... The really good book you should read is the first book that speaks to you okay. through your senses. So okay. if you say, man, what book should I read? And you go online and look up self-help books yeah. or personal development, whatever books, yeah. that's the book you should read. Um, but the general books that I think can help anyone and everyone, um, as of right now, yeah. we're in the moment. We're in the moment. I'm reading <laughs> Gary Zukav's new book, oh. Universal Human. And when I tell you it's the most thoughtful, detailed, very easy to understand book I've ever read uh -huh. to where I'm at in life, it makes sense. And his biggest thing is that we have to em embrace our authentic power. Mm. Our authentic power comes from love and not fear. Yes. Right? Yeah. Our authentic what did you power. Say that earlier, you said fear is what? It's false evidence appearing real. real. Yeah, false evidence appearing real. Meaning, like, if I'm in a relationship and I'm loving someone, yeah. but I'm loving them from the lens of, I don't want you to leave me, yes, that's, that's fear. fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not love. Right. That's not faith. Right. And so he, what he taught me in this book is that when you're going through life, we're always trying to control life so we can suppress and we can hide from the frightened parts of our personality. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the parts yeah, of yeah. our personality that we don't like, <laughs> i.e. the shadow side, right? The Why uncomfortable. does that shadow side have to exist? It's like anything you don't build a relationship with. So imagine a person who doesn't go to the gym. Yeah. They're not going to feel confident in the gym. Right. So should I build a relationship with my shadow self and oh, like yeah. get to know why it's so dark over there? Like, well, yeah, you got to you got to bring light so to dark? it because it's all of your your wholeness, right? Oh, your okay. whole, whole, holistic wholeness being. Like if you just if I'm just light all yeah, day yeah. and I don't let the dark or the other side play, then who am I? I'm really like a half person. I'm not really bringing my full self to the page because I'm afraid that this is, but actually the dark is what gets you to the light. My pain, my dark and light has actually brought me success because that's where all my trauma and pain came from to drive me to be better. Not because I was already in the positive and right, the light, right, I'm right. successful. No, because <laughs> I had pain and I had trauma right. and I had these things that took place. It's like, I don't want to feel this way. That dark, yeah. I'm gonna get to the light. Wow. So you need the dark as uh, anchor in some aspects, as leverage to kind of push you out into your power, your authentic yeah. power to say, you know what, I love myself no matter what's going on, no matter what, what I look like, no matter yeah. who I'm talking yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love myself. But it's a hard journey when yeah. you only love yourself because the world tells you you got to have these things, you got to yeah. be in a relationship, yeah, you got to yeah, have yeah. kids, all these things that they tell us we have to embrace to order not even to love ourselves for the world to love us. Yeah, yeah. But that's not real. No, that's not real. Uh, I, I want to know. I want to go back. Oh, yeah, let's go back. You as a little guy yeah. uh, growing up, you had intuition. What, yeah. what was your first like instance where you realized that there was something like telling you things, or like you were like yourself was like saying like Eric, actually maybe we should do this, or Eric, let's go this way. Um, what, what was I, your first I, encounter I of that? My first big encounter was very subtle. It's already subtle. The okay. subtle thing is always the big thing. Yeah, yeah is my spirituality right uh -huh. i didn't grow up in a church i didn't go to bible study every weekend mm -hmm. my mom dad no one was a thinking or prophet or pastor they spoke the jesus christ in the bible but i remember at like 15 or 16 okay it's like a spirit came over me and like you should pray and i would i mean i'm young i'm 15 what are you 16. doing are you playing basketball like what, yeah what, what but, but, but but like but like when i'm at this is before i go to bed at night okay so i'm literally in the bed and something's telling me that i gotta pray and i'm, I'm tired i'm like just dear god just please bless me you know, you know whatever whatever's in my mind and then right, right. but it was like I, I was moved to pray it wasn't like nobody was telling me yeah no one showed me how to pray yeah interesting and so as i've gotten older i realized my prayer is my power wow because i built rapport with it right ah. It was in the shadow where some yeah, people, yeah, yeah. most people, I would say, 60%, I believe, their spiritual self is in their shadow. Mm. 
because they're not taught or ingrained to use that side because they don't understand it because maybe right. they don't have to. Right. For me, I realized that everything I've absolutely prayed for with real intentions has come to fruition. Wow. Has come to light. So I'm like, oh, wow. Like, so I just need to be more intentional and not so general yes. about my prayer. And so in the book, Universal Human, I'm going to get back to the book because I yes. didn't forget about y'all. Yes, this is Sukov, right? Yeah, yeah. He but did more, us, what is it? Seed of the soul? Seed of the soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what he says is prayer that's coming from fear, like if I'm praying because I need something, praying yeah, because yeah. I'm in a jam. Or yeah, like, yeah. He said, it's okay, but those things don't usually manifest because it has fear attached to it. Interesting. But when you're praying from a loving vibration, yeah. even if those things are going on, it's more likely to happen because the energy of love is on it. Yeah. And not fear. Yeah, right? yeah. So, so yeah, get the book, Universal Human by Gary Zukov. Yeah. As a Man, Think of by uh, James Allen. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon yeah, Hill. Yeah, gotta love um, that book. Self-Esteem Prophecy is a great one. Okay. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, oh, Robert I Kiyosaki. I that one. Uh, there's so many books. Is this yeah. all about who you want to be, what you want to become? Right. Um, there's another book uh, by, uh, it's called The Mind Gym. I forgot that. The after. Mind Gym? I yeah, don't know that it one. It talks about like how to build the gym in your mind and how to build it up. But it uses athletics and sports to yeah. kind of be the parable or the metaphor to the thing. So, yeah, read. You know, they read. say knowledge is the precursor to experiences. So, here yes, we are. knowledge is definitely power. Um, speaking of power, I, uh, so, okay, so those that are watching, they can follow you on Instagram yeah. at Eric Bigger. Follow just me. Eric Bigger, like, yes, right? No, no, Eric Bigger. Eric Bigger. Yes. I saw in your stories, uh, uh, you were, I guess it was today or maybe yesterday about manifesting, like, yeah, manifesting. that you saw, like, today's the day, what, today's eight? Yeah, so or today what? is August 17th. Right. So actually, we back at the, remember the 8 8 portal? Yes. Oh, it's a number yeah. 8 8. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because one and seven is eight. Yeah. And we're still August. Oh, which is we're eight. still eight, eight. Oh, right. Robert. Robert's in the building. Robert. Oh, it's American season, Robert. What's up, baby? Ladies and hey, gentlemen. Get over here. Get in, get in, get in. Robert, Robert, meet Eric. <laughs> Eric, meet Robert. Robert, 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 yeah, Eric keeps us safe here in Brentwood Gardens. We're live in Brentwood Gardens. If you're just tuning in, today is August 17, 2023. We got Robert, our favorite security guard, who is an incredible, an incredible dancer. We're not going to make you dance right now. And Mr. Eric Bigger. Uh, so welcome to the show. I don't want to put you on the spot, but what, what, what's one good thing that happened today? Uh, was it one good thing that happened today? I got paid. <laughs> See what I tell you. I just said the day is an eight day. It's a money day. Manifestation. It's a money day. Yeah, because eight is the number of money. Eight is the number of money. People go look it up. The eight is the affinity symbol. Abundance. Oh, It's power. Eight is power. Well, if you notice when everybody when everybody get their checks right, you know they they super like super happy until like the next day. Then you you know that's when the bills show up. So you know it's just excitement for a few minutes. That's all you know. But always excited to have you. Absolutely. Here on this show on the brand new show um so thank you so much robert we're gonna let you just enjoy the rest of your day your money day your so money on apparently today is eight too as yeah, well so you do the 17th one and seven is eight right so uh, eight is yeah. a power number okay if you look at the number eight it's it represents money and wealth and richness well, that's the number i want to right. represent that yeah, number so, eight all the way yeah. Yeah. eight yeah. is the number so any yeah. day on the eighth day the 26th is 17th for the eighth you should be getting some money or asking for some money. All right. Sounds like know? a winner. Oh. Sounds good to me. There we go. Uh, who knows? I might eat some shrimp today. Or... There we go. <laughs> winner. Shrimp, winner, winner. winner. Drop the chicken Thank dinner. You, <laughs> we love Thank it. you, Robert. We love Robert. <laughs> Robert is an incredible dancer and just a wonderful person. Okay, let's get back to it. So we're talking about the eighth. Yeah. Today is the eighth. We got the eight, eight. Okay, go back. Yeah, Where so I was you? in my car today okay. and I was... Uh, driving down, I think, Santa Monica, and okay. someone was in a car and their tag said manifest. I saw eight. that. So when you pay attention to the signs in mm -hmm. your life, it's telling you something. So it's like, what I got the universe said, this is the day, Eric, to manifest what you want. Okay. And it usually is attached to money because that's what the eight is <laughs> or abundance, right? Eight is power. Eight represents yes. power, you know, the infinity symbol. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. 
Eight is just the money. It's the money. They ain't power and abundance and manifestation. Right. So I'm all about man. I mean, we, you manifest the show. Yes. Everything in your life, good or bad, is a manifestation. You know, I had to ask myself that uh, the other day. Like, what am I doing to add to the circumstances that have been presented themselves around yeah. me in my life? Like, both, you know, I guess not good or bad, but like how I see it, it just yeah. is. Yeah, it just and is. like, I just want to focus on the things that bring me more joy okay. instead of more pain. Yeah. <laughs> but I know that the pain has brought me so much joy. Well, yeah, and the pain is also conditioned, right? What do you mean conditioned? Meaning, like when we when we're raised and we grow up, yeah. there's certain things that happen in our life that become part of our normalcy, right? So if those things are not happening consistently, mm. subconsciously we'll make them happen. Mm. Thoughts, people, we we'll attract people into our life. So what happens is we got to keep that pattern alive because yeah, yeah. as a child, that's what mom dad or our environment told us this is life right you know maybe your mom or dad money doesn't grow in trees oh, and yeah. all these things is money like it comes in faster than it goes right. out or like no no money go well, see how i changed it money right. goes what is it money goes out faster than it comes in but i said money comes in faster than it goes right. out because i've like reprogrammed so it's a paradigm yeah that yeah yeah we hold on to these paradigms especially your negative ones because they're so easy to hold on to right so we keep the pattern in line so if you're in a relationship and something bad is not happening that's what yeah. you're used to you'll yeah. find a way unconsciously to find something bad right but you're wow. not doing it consciously unconsciously you don't it's like you're not even aware you're doing wow. it. you'll pick a fight you'll say something you'll do something right or you know for me yeah prime example i use myself i'm so good at giving yeah my problem is receiving oh so i'll i'll try to find ways where i'm only giving wow and then i won't allow myself to receive what? So now I'm like, no, we're not doing you it. You have to like, like tap yourself and be like, okay, because receiving I have the information mode. and I'm aware. Yeah, I yeah. know, like, no, I'm gonna receive. Like yesterday, or oh, was it yesterday or the day before? He's like, you wanna do my show? Yes. That's me receiving. Oh. Instead of me saying, no, I'm good. Yeah. Have something going on. No, this is part of me receiving. That's awesome. It doesn't always have to be money. It's just to be, you want some water? Yes. Yes. And instead of me saying, no, I'm fine. I just have yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. So just learning and knowing my patterns that are not good for me, but I'm so programming them because that keeps my pattern in line. Right. So I asked myself, if I couldn't help anybody, who am I? Exactly. If I wasn't doing these things, who am I? Can I still be loved within myself? Right. So, yeah. Ah, so powerful. Eric yeah, yeah. Bigger, you're always bringing, you're always bringing like so much <laughs> knowledge and power. It's so exciting. Yeah, information. It's information. So think, think and grow rich, Napoleon Hill. Yeah. Um, you talked about uh, Sukkot. As a man thinketh, the secret. The secret. Yes, yeah. we love the secret. Self esteem prophecy. Ah, uh, self esteem prophecy. Very great book. Um, what yeah. is the book that I read recently? I'm trying to think. Uh, there's, uh, you know, it's interesting that you said like there's a book that would speak to you. So as yeah. I was about to leave uh, Maryland yeah. for LA, okay. I remember like going through the books and I was just like, what? Like I was just, I went through self help. Like I was just called to go over there, same, and same. I went over there and I was by myself and yeah. I was like kind of looking around like I hope nobody sees me. Yeah. And then I saw this book, and it was called The Success Principles by um, Jack Canfield, who oh, yeah, wrote Chicken great, Soup for the Soul. Great book. And I remember reading it, and I was like, this makes so much sense. This makes so much sense. Like, I'm going to do this. Like, why yeah. am I like, because, you know, coming into entertainment, like, I was always told it was going to be difficult. It was going to be hard. Yeah. Like, you're going to have all this stuff. And I was like, why do I have to think like that? Why don't I think it's going to be easy? Why don't why? I just create the life that I want? And so... Yeah. Here you are. And you're, here we you're are. Creating life. Creating this is a life. manifestation. This Manifesti show. Yeah. So, and the thing is, I think what, what happens is we're afraid of our power. We don't know we have yeah. this power. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. the world, the people who control the world, keep us away from that. The way to keep a person away from their power is not to tell them about their real self. Mm. So, make them go learn things to help companies and businesses, but not help themselves. Yeah. Which I get, right? Yeah. But if you don't know yourself, how can you actually grow yourself? Ooh. You know? No, seriously. That's so good. If you don't yeah. know yourself, how can you grow yourself? Yeah. That is, can we get that on a shirt for you? Or yeah. like, or a mug? Andy yeah. Wallman, I think, could do something like that. Maybe that's, that's it's so It's the truth. Good. So I know myself. So there's things in my life that I know are the truth. Yeah. What is that? What are the things that are true to you? What, who what is Eric spirit, Bigger? What, what my spirit says. Yeah. What I am the say? truth because I live in it every day. Yeah. Even if I don't like it. Give where me an example. It could be like, I, I can get into spaces where I'm learning too much. It's like, what are you afraid of when you're not learning? Oh, interesting. Right? Do you like, do you feel like you have to constantly learn? Subconsciously. Oh, okay. Because it's part of the paradigm of, oh, I got to prove myself. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, But that's yeah, the yeah, truth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Instead yeah, of me yeah. acting like, oh, no, I'm this, no. I have ways that are unhealthy that don't really yeah. serve me well. Yeah, or yeah. being so hard on myself when I don't accomplish something. Mm. 
or I don't love myself the same if I'm not successful. So now I'm like, I'm surrendering to it all. I love myself no matter what's going on, no matter how I look, no matter where I'm at. I am phenomenal. I am the truth. I am a miracle. It's miracle season. Nothing can stop me but myself. And I just live in that vibration. So how do you make sure you stay in that vibration? Because I, I'll tell you, like, I was I was on my way here and like, I've got like a lot of thoughts going on. Yeah, so yeah, much yeah, is going yeah, yeah. on. You know, a little bit of some yeah, of the yeah, stuff that's yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. all is well, I am safe. All is well, I am safe. And then like something will just like throw me off course or maybe it's on course. I don't know. That's Yo, where it's my brain on course is. Because it's on course to take you off course because when Michelle is on course, she don't really know the course she can go to because oh, it's so easy to get off course. So it's like this, right? It's, <laughs> it's hard to stay in the gym and work out, right? but it's so easy to lose it. Yes. It takes really will and skill to really build a business and make so much money, but it's right. so easy to get rid of it, mm, right? right? So it's so easy to be distracted. It's so yes. easy not to be in a good mood when yeah, all yeah. these bad things are happening. True, but true. you gotta have extreme willpower. Yep. You gotta have extreme faith. Okay. And you gotta know. Okay. Not believe. All right. You gotta know what's true for your life. That's the difference. So good. Now I will believe is because your beliefs can change. Yes. I know what's true to my life is that I have a mission here on earth and I'm gonna live it uh -huh. no matter what happens. And what's that mission, Eric? What's that mission help for those people that evolve themselves through themselves and help the world heal through my presence in any capacity. T V interviews motivation fitness health and wellness being silly hey guys right <laughs> whatever hey, whatever whatever you know the creator god the universe want me to be that's how i'm gonna show up but i'm coming my most truthful self okay. so it's gonna come through my vibration you're gonna feel it so do you journal like how when oh, you yeah, what, does, what is a day I'm in the life i'm actually working on energy okay. every day tell me what a day in the life of eric looks like i'm up at 4 or 5 a.m oh. every day oh, yeah Round of applause yeah, yeah, from Andy yeah. Wallman. So, okay. I, I'm up. What are you doing at five, four o'clock in the morning? Oh, I'm, I'm tapping to spirit, to self. Okay. You know, I'm reading. Yeah, I'm reading. I'm reading scripture. <laughs> okay. I'm praying. Yeah. Um, I'm journaling. All right. I'm reading out loud to myself. Okay. As soon as I wake up, I got this new mantra. As soon as I wake up, I just say something that's amazing. I'm phenomenal. Today's gonna be great. I just tell myself that because my subconscious is still wide open. Yeah, yeah. So whatever yeah. I put in there is gonna really bleed. I love it's gonna it. be a phenomenal day. And then I go to the gym. Yeah. I get 35 to 40 minutes. What time are we at the gym? What time are we Between, at right now? Between uh, 5.30, 45. Okay. Late at 6. Okay, all right. I'm in the gym for 35, 40 minutes. I come okay. back. When I come back, that's when I'm doing my gratitude statement. Wow. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm this. Aww. Um. Then I'm, I'm, I'm writing to myself, Eric, I'm proud of you. Eric, Aww. I love you. Boom. I do that. And then... Uh, awesome. And then I do another gratitude list. Like, what are the little things I'm grateful? I'm grateful for sunlight. I'm grateful for prayer. I'm grateful yeah. for Michelle. I'm grateful for my whatever so whatever cool. comes to spirit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I, I I write with my least dominant hand just to activate Why? the other side of my brain. Oh, I remember you kind of say yeah. touching on this a little bit on Good Day Live, or maybe yeah. like you didn't. And I feel like you no, did. no, I did. Okay, but okay, I have okay. a book out uh, on Amazon called Transformation: Change Your Mindset, Change Your Energy, Change you Your Life. You can get that right now. You can get that right, right now, and all the tools are in that book. Cool. All so right. I'm constantly doing this, and as I'm doing it, I'm growing my spirit, I'm growing myself, yeah. my awareness is heightened. I'm able to see the unseen, like, yeah, yeah. because I'm actually building a relationship with my spiritual self, Very the cool. self you can't see. It's more like what most men should focus on before they focus on the material and the physical is their spiritual self. 100%. That's the feminine side, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We focus on that, the physical is really going to adapt to our spiritual but we don't wow. understand it. So we want to control the physical with of our course. willpower and of ego. Course. And then when things go out, we fail every time. So, okay, so, all right. So we're you're at the gym, you come back from the gym, we got a gratitude list for like things that spirit is like, you know, yeah. saying to you, what happens after that? What is the rest of the day? What what, is, what does food look like for Eric? I want to know like the I don't daily. Eat, I don't eat until probably like between 11 and one. Okay. So I'm like intermittent fasting. Okay. Um, I might have a few clients. Okay. I might have a few calls. All right. Uh, might be traveling. Like uh -huh. every day is different, but usually I'll be like, I'm sorry, like That's nine o'clock, yeah. nine, between like nine and up, I'm even out the house with a client, I'm on a call, on wow. a Zoom call, or I might be traveling. So every day is different, but the main thing is the first half of my day before wow. I talk to, to touch anything in the universe. Because if I'm not right, nothing is right. Wow, I love that so yeah. much. He's a mind. It's miracle yes, season. By the way, anybody, if you're watching, get your Miracle Season shirt on the website. It's MiracleSeason.co. 50% off what? for wait, everybody wait, wait, all wait, year wait, for the rest wait. of the year. Why? The promo code is <laughs> MSEASON because here's the thing. The miracle Season is more about the message. We have all colors. We have green, we have blue, we have gold, we, we have orange. Colors of the rainbow. Yeah, all we the have colors. all the colors. That's so awesome. basically, I had to realize like the message is more important than 
what we're going to profit, right? right. Yeah, yeah, Because the profit yeah. is in the message yes. when you're getting healed. Yeah, so yeah. So if you see this, you're going to feel this. And when you feel this, you're going to notice. And when you notice, you're going to share this. And then the world is going to be in miracles. Are you going to do music? Do you do music? I feel like it, like every time you talk, I feel like you're like a song is going to come out. I, I, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Whatever the universe maybe. wants. We're going to sing a song. <laughs> maybe, next, maybe that's next on the list. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you said this on, uh, I, so I, I told you, like, I didn't watch The Bachelor. I'm not really a yeah, big yeah, fan. Yeah, no yeah, offense. Yeah. I sure. think it's a great show. Shout I think it's a great show. 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 Shout out, shout out, yeah, shout yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you were on stage, right? You're about to go on stage. Yeah. You were third second runner I forget like yeah I was so you were the second choice I don't remember how you saw in the beginning or the end of the show the end of the show when you said it's miracle season oh no I said it's the beginning of the oh, show I that's that why I keep beginning? trying to tell you this is a manifestation oh. I said this out of my mouth and it became a thing. Now wait, it's a brand. Wait, did you say you said that at the beginning of the show of the of right. the bachelor? So it was like a foreshadow of what was gonna happen in that year wait, of that okay, season. So the first episode that you were on, you said After it's the mirror- final roles. Okay. Four guys got selected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was one of the four uh-huh. who was able to meet the bachelorette, Rachel Lindsay at the time yeah, for the yeah. first time before wow. anybody else. Uh-huh. So when I was in my trailer, it's miracle season, I channeled. How did you channel? It just it came just to you? It came to me. What? It was <laughs> like so <laughs> odd and my producer at the time Louis shout out to Louis Shout-out, he was Louis. like man boy I think you should say it I'm like really he's wow. like man you keep saying it sounds good to me and you ever go and think about something that you want to say and then you say everything you wanted to say yeah, yeah. that's what happened to me I hit a game winning shot and it was a miracle season but that was the spark of my journey of wow. getting my miracle falling in love for the first time Aww. on the bachelorette Aww. And that was the season. But here's the thing. Most people want their miracle, but they don't want the season. I, so in that I season. I saw you say that recently. In that, in that season, I messed up my shoulder. I got into it with guys in the house. Oh. I, got, I got into it with the bachelorette. Oh, I wanted no. to go home. I was in a lot of fear. I was yeah. stressed, yeah. anxious. It was tough. Yeah, filming all the time is, but is a I went lot. I six countries in love, and my life changed. Wow. That's the miracle. So I did win countries? my season. Wow. My miracle. I won my season. I didn't uh, end up with the bachelorette, but that was the miracle winning. You really fell in love on the show. Yeah. Wow. It happened. So <laughs> it, it, it showed me that you, when you open yourself up, things can happen. Wow. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. But I think the I think the thing about falling in love with people miss is that in order to fall in love, you have to fall in love with yourself. Mm, in yeah. order to fall in love with someone else. That's true. So it opened me up to really see different sides of myself. Like, wow. And the, Louis at the time, we were in the alley, 2 a.m. in Europe. And he was like, I don't know. I was like, I said, what is this? Is this a movie? He's like, he's no, this is you. You did it. I'm like, he's like, we didn't think he would last this long. (laughs) That's facts. So it was like, it was a tough experience. So that's why it's a miracle. Wow. Because it has so much contrast. Did you have a billboard that said it's miracle season? Hey, hey, come and see. You see that? She's speaking to existence. I thought you had it for The Bachelor. I thought I saw it. I'm trying to tell you, Chris Harrison at the time, who was the host, he was saying it. Everybody was saying it. You know what what it is? Someone took the name and made it a movie. Wait, really? They called it the Miracle Season. And listen, this is how. I think so. It's about volleyball. But here's the thing this is how powerful the universe is, and this is how great God is in my life. Yeah, yeah. So I met someone at Soho two months ago. Yeah. And she saw me wear my shirt. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, by the way, that's my friend's show, the Miracle, this movie. He produced it. So I said, ask him where he got the name from. (laughs) Hear this out. Where did you get the name from? So then she said, oh, the studio wanted him to change the name. He didn't like it. Wait. So clearly, that's someone it. took the name and made a show, yeah. made a movie out of it. But it's all good. That's how powerful it is. That's wow. how I know it was bigger than me. It came to me. That's what I believe. I truly believe that ideas and thoughts and yeah. like these things float around the universe and they like land on someone who's ready to like receive it. Yeah. And then you have to be like, okay, I'm gonna like bring this to like to like the it's it just like took a life full, of its own. Yeah. Like and to, then I'm just like, oh, this is a thing. It's miracles. It's like okay. It's and, super and, then, catchy. and then I looked it up, you know, because if you look up numerology. I'm into numerology. Yeah. If you, you have your name as a vibration. So it's miracle season equals 11 vibration, which is a master number. What? That's which, like that's teaching like yeah, and, and, and intuition, it's healing, right? And that's my wow. life path number. I'm a 11. Oh, so I don't this even know is, what life path number I am, but I'll figure it yeah, out. I'll so figure it out as later. 11, you know, we are healers. We're here to illuminate the energy with information and power and whatever we have, but that's what that vibrates. Super it's cool. It's a healing name. I it's miracle, miracle season. season with oh, Eric good. Bigger. I want to ask you fun questions. Okay. When you go to the movies, do you get popcorn or candy or neither? I get popcorn and candy. Oh, you get both? Yeah, of course. Uh, what? what kind of candy do I you get? I get gummy bags to go back. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you Is get? it Harbro? Is it Harbro? Gummy bears. The gold bag. Okay. 
You haven't had that before? I have, I think. Yeah. I think I have. It's all good. It's, it's, it's more like, it's more red vines or oh. sour patch. I get, the, I get the gummies. All the right. gummies with the popcorn. All right, other question. Did you see the Barbie movie? I didn't. You didn't? But I got some. Why not? I got some perspective on it. Well, you did. Yeah, we're all Barbies in our own life. What Whatever we think, we believe. It's true. It's manifestation. That's true. Whatever you think someone feels about you, that's what, that's what true. That's what the truth is. So if you think someone doesn't like you, then that's, that's your truth. You know, I read somewhere, it's, uh, you know, it's A Course in Miracles. Have you read, have you read anything no, about I that? No, I take it. Shout it's, out to Marion Wilson. Oh, uh, Marion Williamson, I love yeah. you. I'd love to have you on the show. You're an incredible, incredible human. Yeah. Um, a Return to Love, I think it's one of her yeah, best love. books. Yeah. Oh my God, one of the best. Um... It said some. It said somewhere in that book that what you think of someone else will think they think of you. Yeah. So like the way you feel about somebody else, they most likely feel that way about you. Right. So like if you're feeling like these like anger, like these feelings of like I can't stand that person, yeah. they're probably thinking that Same way about thing, you. Yeah. And it's like, why don't I love that person? Why am I not sending because loving? That part of yourself you don't love. Interesting. It's all, that's why I said to fall in love, you have to fall in love with yourself. And all the bad stuff, like I a, feel like and the shadow stuff. Most people fall in love. They fall in love on conditions of self. Mm. Only because I did it. I love myself only if. Mm. But do I love myself if I only don't? Probably not. But now wow. I do. You get what I'm saying? It's I get. What, that's super deep. Yeah. <laughs> that is super and deep. And it just came to me like I was like, oh, that that's. When that's was this? It. When did this come to you? I mean, things come to me in a moment. Yeah. I'm so present and like, I just feel like higher self just comes through me and I'm just in it. Aww, I'm the truth. Awesome. I'm speaking it, right? I love but that. But when I put it together in my mind, it makes so much sense. Mm. I've done so much work on myself. Like I'm, this year has been a lot of shadow work for me. A lot of shadow work. I think for a lot of people, like, like we were talking at the beginning of the show, the shadow work stuff is like hitting you whether or not you want it to be yeah. like happening. You're just like, no, I don't want to look there. And it's like, yeah. no, hey, I'm hey, here. Hey, this is, hey, hey what's me? up, buddy? Remember How me at doing? nine years old? <laughs> <laughs> you just punished me. I'm coming back to get you. Yo, and it's like, okay, all right, we're gonna deal with this. We've got to deal with it now, now or never. No, now, no, there's always time to deal with it. But, um, Last question for you, and then we'll wrap this up, this awesome interview up, and then you can plug away all the awesome things that are okay. happening um, with you. Uh, when you were a little guy, yeah. like little, little, in Baltimore, where did you see your life going? Like, what did you want to do? What did you want to be? What it, Like, who inspired you, and, and I guess who inspires you today? I know that's a lot of questions in one. No, that's great. I mean, it's simple. I wanted to be an NBA player. I wanted to be a basketball player. I wanted to play basketball professionally. So when that didn't happen, I said I had to go pro in life. Mm -hmm. I didn't go pro in bowl. Mm. I'm gonna go pro in life. And you know, growing up, my inspiration was, man, I, I, Michael Jordan, Penny Hardaway, like basketball players. But outside of that, yeah. I didn't have anyone to look up to because the people I were looking up to, I was looking at things I shouldn't do mm. that they were doing. Got it. But they were doing it for the right reasons. Got it. So I that had compassion sense. and grace for them in that. But I did the opposite of what I saw because what I saw was so much negativity, yeah, so much yeah, contrast. Yeah. For the right reason, but yeah. it just didn't make sense for my spirit. And to this day, I look up to people like you know the Jay Shetty's of the world. I've actually met Jay Shetty in oh, France. Great in guy. France. Yeah, it was in South of France, Cannes Lion. Shouts out to Influential nice. and Ron Dieter, Chris Dieter. <laughs> um, it's amazing. Um, and then Tony Robbins. Like Tony Robbins is my guy. Like he helped me get to this because he's a Pisces. So I kind of understand. I'm a Pisces, so I understand how we think. I understand how we sacrifice. Like, I understand did. Pisces. You guys yeah. are like very emotional. Very emotional. And then, and then what else? Well, sensitive. <laughs> and very loving. Very loving. Loving, very emotional, loving. emotional, sensitive. But here's the thing. Like, you got to know your moon sign. So I am emotional, but I can control my emotions. Ah, so my moon sign is a Sagittarius. So my moody emotions is more like a sad. That's where all oh, the fire and the motivation comes from. Got right? it. And my rising sign is a Libra. So okay. I come off more balanced. Oh, affair. Libra's very balanced. Right. So that's how I come So off. what Pisces should we be aware of, like, aware of that can't control their emotions? Well, there's a lot of people in all signs can't control their <laughs> that's emotions. True, that's true. Because the world has programmed us not to be high in our emotional EQ. Um... I just think you got, just like I said, if you don't know yourself, you can't grow yourself. It doesn't matter what sign you are. I love that. If you, you know? don't know yourself, you can't grow yourself. You Trademarked by Eric Bigger. Nobody else can take that. That's yeah. a TM after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So you want to be a basketball player. Um, you want to be pro ball, but you became pro in life, which yeah. is amazing and helping other people become professional in their own lives. Yeah. Um, and then you said Tony Robbins inspires you Tony and, Robbins, and Jay Bob Shetty. Proctor, Jay Shetty. Uh, Lewis Howes, I love his podcast. Oh, we Full love of Lewis Howes. Um, Dr. My, I mean, Michael Beckwith, you know? Yeah, Agape. Michael Beckwith. Just a lot of people that I've 
rub shoulders with now that I talk to you and run into you and I get it. Like you guys are just like me. I'm like you. It's like I get it. So, but you only can get it if you're doing the work. Mm. So I've done more than enough work to kind of. Like, ah, I see. I like that. So timing is everything. I'm just grateful for you know people that's before me and the people coming up beneath me because you know I got nephews and nieces and even a young generation. I respect it all because you all can learn from someone. This is so true. Okay, yeah. and this is my final question. I promise this will be it. What would you say to seven-year-old Eric and seventy-year-old Eric? Um, seven-year-old Eric. I talk to little little Eric. Little Eric. What There's, are we saying to little Eric? I would say, listen, young man. No matter what's going on around you, you're covered, you're safe, and your life is going to be pretty awesome if you just trust yourself when you don't feel like yourself. Love it. Hopefully he won't. He might not understand that, mm -hmm. but I think he'll be able to get it as he get older. Okay. I think I had a lot of fear as a kid because I, things didn't make sense around me, but they do now. So Very cool. seven year old me, An proud older of you, brother. Eric. You did it. You did it. <laughs> We did it. We changed the world. We changed the world, baby. We made the miracles happen in a lot of seasons. Aww. I'm proud of you. Give me a hug. Ah. Is he like flying on a private jet? What's he doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, what I we, saw. I saw you just like having a conversation with like a private jet, yeah, seventy-year-old yeah, yeah. Eric. We flying on private jets. We traveling the world. We, we at that time. I'm a world leader. I'm changing the world for Aww. real in you, a very you're... authentic, positive, transformative way. You are already cha you're changing the world. You're doing that right now. Yeah. And I can't wait to see what happens for you in the next, you know, how many years, yeah. but you're doing great things. Tell our viewers how they can find you, how hey, they can get like, follow you and all that season. great stuff. Remember, get your merch, get your merch. It's miracle season. It's miracle season.co 50% off M season, all caps. It's the promo code. Follow me on Instagram at Eric beer. By the way, I got a numerology course out. Oh, so if you want to learn do. about your numbers, I, I got do. a numerology course out. Go get that. Click the link in the bio. I got a new book coming out. I won't tell you the title. I won't reveal that to you, but we're working. And uh, if you want to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching, sign up and get an intentions call and let's work and let's win together. It's a miracle season. Oh win together yeah, i yeah, won yeah. today with eric bigger today yeah, yeah, on this yeah, show yeah, thank yeah. you so much You're eric welcome. so thank much love and me. gratitude uh we'll see you guys tomorrow don't forget to check out eric and all his great things that are going you can follow him and make sure you get the book and sign up for that one-on-one -on -one coaching uh you might just change your life i will yeah. see you guys tomorrow you have a good one. Oh, you will change your life yes you will change your life we'll see you guys <laughs> bye have a good one I love it thank you